Hello and welcome to my tutorial on animating a lightsaber using Flash 8. This will work in CS3, it's a very simple animation. And what we're going to end up with is something that looks like that. So it's two parts, the handle and the light beam, which is nice and green, as used by Yoda and Luke Skywalker for all you Star Wars nerds out there. Okay. Right, so it's on two layers, the handle on one and the light beam on the other one. So let's get to it. First of all we need a new stage, so file new, and uh, flash document will do, click OK, that nice white stage. And to make the handle we just need a rectangle. Now I've set up my colour to be a linear fill and I've got three bits to my gradient. I've got a dark grey, a light and um, a slightly darker grey again. So let's see how that looks. Okay, looks something like that. Now if I want to fiddle with that I can just click on these little squares here and pull the slider up and down so I can tint it a bit more. And if I didn't want that one, I could just click and drag it away. That looks like that. She looks a bit mean and moody. Now you notice that it hasn't actually changed my original one. So let's double click on it. That will select all of it. And pull it away. You can see that it, that's actually changing it now. I'm going to leave it like that for a second. Now on mine, you can see that the handle curves down a bit. So how do they do that? Well, quite easily. I'm going to zoom in, just to make it a bit more easier to see. Oops, make it 400. Now if you use the selection tool, the black arrow, and if you move it over the corner, you can see that the arrow changes a little bit. It's got now a little right angle next to it. So if I click and hold on that corner, a little circle appears and I can drag it down to the angle I want. If you put the black arrow next to a line in the middle, a little curve appears under it. So I can actually bow out my line if I wanted to. Or, if I didn't want to bow it out, I could actually bow it in. And in fact, let's just leave it like that, actually. That looks quite good. Okay. Now let's go back to that middle fill. That, I quite like having a little light bit there, because we want to give it a 3D effect move that to one side and make it a bit lighter. And this bit a little darker. There we go. I think that light is in the wrong place, so let's shift it back across a bit. Make this one darker still. Okay, that pops out a bit better now. Yeah, okay. So, you can add buttons and lines to it, but I want to just get on to the animation bit. So we've finished that, I'm going to change the layer name now, because it's a good idea to name your layers, especially once you get into the more technical, advanced stuff. Um, so I'm going to call it Handle. Nice and simple, it's probably in better name for it, like Haft or something, but we all understand Handle. And I'm going to lock it by clicking the little button there, because you can bet your bottom dollar that when you come to add more stuff to the stage, more shapes and text and stuff, that you'll find yourself on the wrong layer and it all gets messy and you get lose patience and stuff. So by doing that, that means we can't fiddle around with that layer anymore. So I'm going to now do the light beam, so I need a new layer for that, and I'm going to name it light beam. Okay, that's nice. So you just saw me click on frame one there, just to make sure that I really have got the right layer. Yes, I'm paranoid. So, again we need another rectangle, because it's a long length, and I want to change it to green this time. So I've already got my three gradients set up. 
I want to have 